This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. I have received some of the Sims 4 packs for free. Thank you to the EA Creator Network. Hello everyone, J Sim Lady here. Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we've got a couple of very exciting things. We've got a big base game update coming a week earlier than is typically expected. And we got some more information on those creator kits that I thought we could go over today. You're gonna wanna watch this video before you update your game. And then we'll go over the update together after I give you some very important update information. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying my channel. And don't forget when you're buying Sims 4 pack on the EA app to use creator code JSIMLADY at checkout. Let's get into it. So this is a new type of kit that the Sims team is releasing. It is custom content in a kit form. And this whole article, which I will not be able to read all of it to you, I have a very sore throat right now, but I can summarize a little important tidbit for you real quick and that is the difference between creator collab kits and creator kits are that creator collab kits the sims content creator doesn't even have to be a custom content or mod creator it could be a youtuber or whatever they have an idea for a kit that they think the community would love they tell their idea to the sims team and and the Sims team creates the items in that kit. With creator kits, the custom content creators themselves make the items. So it's sort of a Sims 4 team making the items versus custom content creators making the items themselves and being released officially through the Sims game. Now the first two that we are getting in November, I believe on the 14th if I'm not mistaken, is these two sets right here and this is just a little sneak peek of those two sets and the creators are and you'll have to forgive me if i mispronounce these i'm very very sorry i'm not good at usernames or even real life names for that matter at all my shuno son and trillic are the first two custom content creators that they've teamed up with to make the first two creator kits so that's a very exciting and this is our first look. So we have my Shuno Sun's Cozy Kitch, which looks to be a furniture pack, obviously. You've got some table and chair set here. You've got what looks like an ottoman or a poof. Maybe, well, we have the new little radio a couch, a chair, some new artwork for the walls, I believe, a new lamp, I think, an end table, a rug. This looks to be like a new hanging light or ceiling light. There's quite a few things in this little kit that look really adorable. So I'm definitely looking forward to having this stuff in my game for sure. And then the second one is Trillix. Uh, I believe it's called Sweet... Let me look again. <laughs> Okay, it's called Sweet Slumber Party, and it's supposed to be a teen slumber party inspired kit. Mostly consisting of clothing, but it does look like we get a couple of facial items as well. Here's another screenshot. Lots of different cute little pajama sets here. These are quite adorable. The little freezer bunny set, that's adorable. And it's definitely more teen oriented stuff that that teens would wear. And here's another look at that cozy kitsch kit set. I love the whole look of this room. Now let's talk about the update. Before we get into the actual update, which I will try to include as much of as I can in this video, though I will probably leave a few things out as I usually do, uh, because they don't always publish 
everything in the update notes and so I inevitably miss things. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about a few important things to do before you update your game. First, remove your mods folder. It doesn't matter if all you have are a few pieces of CC eyelashes or eyeshadows or a singular bracelet. Remove your mods folder. You never know when custom content or mods are going to interfere with the updating process as well as cause your game to break. So just remove the mods folder. Along with this update is the warning that you should absolutely back up your Sims folder. If you can back up the entire Sims 4 folder, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, absolutely make sure to back up your saves folder and your trays folder. To do that, you go to File Explorer. If you're on a Windows computer, you go to File Explorer, you go to Documents, you go to Electronic Arts, and The Sims 4. You should see a folder named Mods. Just move that out to your desktop. Then there should be two more folders, one called Saves and one called Tray. Copy those, don't move them, copy them and paste them somewhere else on your computer where you can keep them safe. If you removed your mods folder prior to updating your game and you have issues with the update anyways, then go to help.ea.com and report your issues there. Now let's get into the most exciting thing, the big base game update in preparation for the life and death expansion pack. So jumping right in, we have Grace here, and Grace has only ever been able to be a human because I did not pick an occult before making Grace. Now, that's changed. If you have the packs that come with these different occults, this is Get to Work, Vampires, obviously, this one's Island Living, this one is Spellcasters, and Werewolves, obviously. If you have the packs that these come from, you can turn any sim in cast into one of these occults. And even better, because ghosts are base game, you can choose to make your sim a ghost right in cast now. Now, a lot of these are from packs, like Death by Freezing that came with Seasons, and Death by Lightning also came with Seasons, Death by Mold came with For Rent... So a lot of these came with a different pack. So if you have those packs, you will be able to choose that ghost. Or you can choose to make your sim one of the base game ghosts. Death by Anger. Uh, I believe Death by Cowplant is base game. In this case, we're going to make a Grace a Death by Hunger Ooh. because the one and only time Grace has died so far is in the 100 Baby Challenge where I accidentally starved her to death. I kept clicking on get food and I kept thinking she was eating but she wasn't and she ended up dying so in honor of that version of grace we will do ghost death by oh, hunger no. and we will enter into the game as a ghost occult sim so let's get the game started here and before we go any further, there is a quick little trailer here we can watch about the new base game update. Let's, so let's take a look at a bunch it. of new and exciting updates available now in The Sims 4. Choose the top left hexagon in the Sim Molecule and select Pick Cause of Death. A Sims death type can give them unique abilities as a ghost. This is available for child Sims and older. Toggle the new Ghostly Overlay button to review skin tone hair, and outfit colors more easily. You can now seamlessly change your Sim's occult type without losing or resetting your other progress. Your Sims will also react to death in completely unique ways based on their age and relationship to the Sim that passes. If your Sim just met them, they may react differently had they known them a long time. When your Sim passes away, a pop-up appears that gives you the option to become a playable or free-roaming ghost. 
Urns and gravestones can now be used indoor or outdoors interchangeably. Woohoo with Grim! The new Life Event Activities category in Build Mode filters content for weddings, funerals, and more. And lastly, turn your elder pets into ghosts in Create a Sim. Jump in game and explore these exciting updates. Okay, so you can pick pet ghosts right from Cass as well now. You also saw in there that Sims will have different reactions now. So if you didn't know the Sim, your Sim is not going to react with sadness to a sim dying in their presence and want to mourn that sim that they didn't know. Oh, of course, it's a, a rainy, gloomy day. Nice, okay. So we do have a couple of things in build mode here. We have, let me select for base game only here. We have in activities and skills, we have this new thing right here. And obviously if you have all the packs, you're gonna get all the other stuff from seasons and from my wedding stories and high school years. These are all the different like parties and events you can participate in or throw or whatever. Uh, some of the things here that came with like city living festival stuff and things like that that you can put out. But then there is a new item that they didn't mention and that is, let me see if I can find it right here, a new bonfire. So I'm pretty sure based on what I've seen on Twitter so far, this bonfire is just your basic everyday bonfire. Nothing special about it as far as I can tell. But it is a new big and in my opinion a lot nicer looking one. I quite like this one. We can uh, possess it because we are a ghost. That is really fun. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, uh, okay, Grace. Grace, you can come out now. Grace? Grace? Hello? Grace, you can come out now. Uh, apparently she likes hanging out in there, so I guess we'll leave her to it. But yeah, she can possess that as well. It's your basic bonfire. It just has a new look to it, which I very much enjoy. Also, if you're looking for your Ghost Sims at Tombstone, it is in their inventory. And if you click on that, you get to choose between all these different available options if you have all these packs. So this is Horse Ranch, Vampires, Island Living, Werewolves, Spellcasters, uh, Get to Work, this is Aliens, this is the regular one, and I believe this one was reserved for the Servo Bots before. So you have that available to you, but you can also choose to display this as an urn as well. And again, you have all those different options. Island Living, Vampires, Horse Ranch, the base game one. Uh, I think this one is the Spellcasters one, Werewolves. This one is from Get to Work with the Aliens. And this one is the Servo Bots urn. And you can choose to have those auto switch like they are now or like they were previously to the update where if it was outside it automatically switched to a tombstone dancing is terrible okay grace uh or if you moved it indoors it would automatically turn into an urn well you can switch that on and off and you can choose which one to have it wherever you want it to be now i've also seen a few reports that there might be and we might have a hard time seeing it because it's dark and gloomy but i am also seeing some reports that these, which, yeah, you can't really see real well right now, are new terrain paints. So we have some new base game terrain paint. So that's the new stuff in Build, Buy, and Cast. If you go into Live Mode, actually, let's build a swimming pool real quick. <laughs> you know, honestly, I think we're going to have to go to a new lot for this. So let's go to a new lot for this. 
And we're gonna do this the fastest way I know how to do it. And it's not just simply a matter of removing the pool ladder anymore. We'll put the pool ladder there. So uh, we'll have, uh, um, I forget what his name is, Darnell. We'll have Darnell go swimming, but we'll leave Shauna out. Okay, he's in, but Shauna's trying to go there. So we'll move the pool ladder out and we'll build a wall around it. And we're just gonna take a second here till he dies. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can make friends with Grim and woohoo with him without a cheat. Okay, plead for Darnell. Wait, did it work? Darnell has been brought back to life. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Oh no, that worked way too easily. That should not have worked that easily. Okay, we'll just have to do it again. I guess we will just delete this and see which one dies of starvation first. One of you needs to die. Sorry, maybe she'll overheat. Oh no, she got in the water! No! <gasps> did she just die from drowning? She did! Okay, this time we're not gonna plead for her life. We're gonna see what happens. Just waiting for Grim to do his thing. <laughs> By the time Grim gets done, Darnell is gonna die too. Then I won't have anybody to uh, mourn or not mourn. Shauna's death? There we go. Shauna has passed away. Begin a new chapter of life by becoming a ghost. Exciting ghostly powers await in the afterlife. Perhaps Shauna has some unfinished business to attend to. You can also choose to relinquish control of Shauna and allow her to stick around as a free-roaming ghost. Well, we already know what playable ghosts are, and we kind of already know what free-roaming ghosts are. So we really don't need to play as either, but I'm gonna pick a playable anyways for now. And I'm gonna see, he might be dying. She doesn't have, she doesn't have a tombstone or an urn. So that's interesting. So I think we might have run into a little bit of a glitch, but they are only acquaintances and let's see. If I can keep this up around death, Darnell doesn't know what to do in a situation like this from losing an acquaintance, from witnessing death. So he's fine. Like, it's okay. He's not upset or saddened by it. He's just kind of like, meh, that happened. <laughs> so that's new and different. It's nice not to see them constantly mourning every death that happens. But while we are waiting for that... Here is the list of bug fixes. So there are some big ones like Sims will not eat spoiled food autonomously. This will be really nice for my Sims because they're always doing that. There are a bunch of others here. The morning moodlet will not appear at all when a stranger sim dies. So if your sim didn't know the sim who died, nothing will appear here at all. So that'll be nice. As you can see, it's quite the list again. They've got quite a few things here that they've fixed. So you can go to uh, the Sims 4 official website and see that entire list. Oh, and now he's dying. So let's pick a free roaming ghost this time. We'll just speed the process along. Grim takes a long time to check names and stuff. Okay, there we go. Now become a free roaming ghost. Okay, he got a headstone. So if you pick active ghost, you don't if you pick an active ghost in live mode i should say you don't seem to get a headstone or an urn at the moment you can click on his tombstone and add him to your current household though and then again you can change the tombstone to look like something else 
anything you want. If you get the new life and death expansion pack, there will be a few different options here. Not just the occult stones. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you noticed anything about the base game update that I missed. And I guess on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!